Hi. Um, my name is Esther. And frankly, I don't know what's compelling me to do this. Um, but I would like to share um, an experience. Yeah, grandma, grandpa. <laughs> um, and it really doesn't. I don't. I don't really know. I. I know in my head that no one will see this, and it won't matter. But lots. I. Many people share their experiences and on YouTube and why not me? So, um, yesterday I went to uh, well, should I? I, I went to a large wholesale store um, where you need a membership, and it rained, so uh, me and my two children ran from our car to the front of the warehouse, um, and we were drenched, literally, head to toe. I forgot an umbrella, and it just wasn't raining when we left and it was pouring when we parked. So, um, and a lady said, oh ma'am, you need your mask. Um, I said, oh, oh, yeah, but you know, I, my, our faces were drenched, my glasses were drenched. I, so I just kind of hung the masks on our chins. Um, as we were shopping later, we were, I saw that they were giving out samples, which I think the last time I went there, they were doing that too. So my children and I were eating them. And um, Mommy, we always pick out we need the samples. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And just rest, baby. Um, and um, a lady walked by uh, later on, and um, you know I was still eating the little, you know, vegetable cauliflower. It it was not popular. It didn't. My kids didn't eat it quickly. I still had it in my hand. Um, kind of maybe too gingery as well. They didn't like it much, but I, you know, veggies, I wanted to encourage them. Anyway, um, you know, she, a customer kind of breezed by past us and then kind of talked to the air in front of her. Like she didn't look at me or anything or at my children. She just kind of snapped, um, you know, put on your masks. And I thought, oh, I, but, you know, I, di I didn't say anything. I didn't react outwardly. Um, you know, I know that her intentions aren't bad, um, but it, it did bother me. Um, and I was already bothered that I was being asked to wear a mask inside a store that's giving out samples that requires you to take them off. Um, so I was bothered. Um, I couldn't really figure out how bothered. Um, you know, I, so I was thinking about it and then on our way home, um, 
actually talk to my kids out loud. I don't remember if I was talking to them or praying with them or, you know, but I was expressing that, you know, something doesn't feel right and, you know, asking like, I wouldn't, you know, out loud, I wonder what I'm, should I, what I should do. Like, should I just not go to that store anymore? Or, um, anyway, I, um, I got home and realized I forgot to get baby wipes again. I, I keep forgetting, either forgetting or we don't have room in the cart by the time we get to the front. I, I thought, oh no. So I had to go back. And I thought, you know what? The rule that I need to put on a mask in a store um, that <sighs> provides samples for customers that they have to take their masks off to eat is illogical. It's irrational and I don't want to obey an irrational rule just because someone is telling me to to follow it just because they're in a you know they're an authority um and i realized that i have the right i I realize that I should be able to go in and buy the baby wipes and go home. Even if I don't want to obey an irrational rule. I just... You want me to stop? Is it getting too long? <laughs> okay. Um, and so, uh, you know, I did go back and, you know, I, nothing against the workers, you know, please, I, if anything, I, I tried to let them know I'm sorry. I don't mean to. Um, take up their time or be, you know, an inconvenience, but I have to follow my conscience. And I can't, I can't show that kind of example to my children. I cannot just do something because you want me to stop? <laughs> okay. Okay, so, okay, how do I make it short? Um, so I talked to a few managers, God bless them, they were very kind, you know, nothing against them. Um, but I let them know, you know, respectfully, I'm going to stand inside Costco without my mask, and I'm not gonna leave until it closes. And I don't blame or judge you for whatever you have to do. I wasn't trying to make them do anything I wasn't trying to change anything I it, it that's irrelevant to me I was just doing what I felt was that I had the right the, that I should have the right to do sorry 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 so I did I stood there for maybe just shy of three hours I just stood there inside um, and they kind of left 
they kind of they you know I I said I'm sorry it's okay if you call the cops I you know and they were like no no we won't do that but you know we'd rather really rather you'd not do this I'm like I'm sorry I have to um I have to um how do I wrap it up so I did and then I stayed till closing time 8 30 like 8 you know 20 I did my shopping um you know a, a few workers asked me to put on my mask and I told them I'm sorry but I will not um uh I felt bad this is not my personality I just I you know I respect rules I follow rules <laughs> I but I, I cannot I will not everywhere whatever I I'm gonna live my life like normal and just do what is my res responsibility which is to follow my conscience and um, continue to do that and I don't know what that means I don't have a plan I just I'm just gonna minute by minute try to follow my conscience because you have to say no when it's small you, you can't wait till it's too big to say no okay. thank, thank you for listening <laughs>